players have data mined information on the seventh season of Modern Warfare. Season 7, likely delayed due to delays in earlier seasons, will add new operators, John Soap, McTavish and Sparks, new maps, Alrap, Airbase and Drainage, and new weapons, the Psykov, CX-9 and RAL MG. The Psykov, similar to the Makarov 9mm, the CX-9, similar to the Scorpion Evo and the RAL MG can be found, unlocked and leveled in Modern Warfare before they are released. In this video I'm showing you how to unlock the weapons, how to level them, their statistics and attachments and the recommended class setups. Before continuing the video, as an added way to increase my income on YouTube I have joined affiliate programs of companies and products that I support. The affiliate links can be found in the description. You can support me by using the supporter creator code MastermindsHD in the Epic Games Store and by clicking on or buying games and other products through the Kingwin and Amazon links. On top of that I link to each of the products I use in my setup as a content creator so if you're considering using these products you can support me by following the link. I will only recommend products and services I use myself. Thanks for your support and enjoy the video. The Psykov and CX-9 can be found in the combat record. However, you can also play with the weapons in multiplayer and co-op. In co-op survival, you can purchase the Psykov and CX-9 from the weapon station and play with it during your match of survival. In a private survival match, the Psykov and CX-9 used to have all attachments unlocked, allowing you to experiment with the weapons. Unfortunately, this isn't the case anymore. In an online survival match, the Psykov and CX-9 start at level 0, meaning you have to unlock the attachments first. Playing online survival matches allows you to level up the weapons, unlocking the attachments and weapon camos. The exception here is the RAL MG which hasn't been added to the game, however all three of the weapons can be unlocked in multiplayer. The Psykov requires you to earn 4 pistol kills in 5 different matches. The CX-9 requires you to earn 2 submachine gun long shots in 5 different matches. And the RAL MG requires you to earn an unknown number of light machine gun long shots in an unknown amount of matches. You will not be able to play and create a class with the weapons until Season 7 is released, but there is a way to play with the Psykov and CX-9 in multiplayer. However, I have to provide a disclaimer before you try this. The method to equip the weapons is random and quite tedious. You can play with both weapons by picking them up from the weapon drop field upgrade. There's roughly a 10% chance to pick up a submachine gun and a 10% chance to pick up a pistol. The chances decrease even further because including the CX-9 there are 10 submachine guns and including the Psykovs there are 7 pistols. Adding to that is that the submachine gun or pistol that can be picked up from the weapon drop is locked for that match. Meaning if you don't roll the Psykov or CX-9 in that match, there is no chance of you getting it in other rolls during that match. If you choose to attempt to play these weapons in multiplayer, I have two recommendations. Obviously use the weapon drop field upgrade and secondly use the tune-up perk as it charges your field upgrades 40% faster. However, I recommend playing and leveling the weapons in online survival and unlocking the weapons in multiplayer. Having shown you how to unlock and level the weapons, let's take a look at the weapons and their attachments. Starting with the Psykov. According to the in-game description, it's a dependable fallback in close quarters. This double action, single action sidearm comes with a few custom gunsmith mods that make it an outstanding addition to any arsenal. The description is definitely not lying, as the weapon has some unique attachments. The pistol using Makarov 9mm rounds has a base magazine size of 12 rounds with 72 backup rounds. I will list the attachments and believe me there are some nutty ones and you'll be able to see the pros and cons on screen. For the optics it just has your average sights, there's nothing unique here. Same goes for the muzzles, it has your average muzzles, no unique attachments. For the barrels it has the SSB 105mm, the SSL 308mm and the Sorokin 140mm auto barrel. The only one that stands out is the auto barrel at the end here which allows the Psykov to fire fully automatic. For the ammunition we have the 20 round mags and the 80 round drums which is absolutely insane because you can have up to 80 rounds for a pistol. For the rear grip we have the VOK Spetsnaz, the VOK Prisrock and the VOK Elita grips. And these are just your standard grips. For the stock we have the PP Skeleton and PP Carabin stocks, also fairly basic. The lasers has the 1mW, 5mW and TAC lasers. 
also standard. Trigger action is a known as of this moment and the perk just has your effort perks, but your best options here are sleight of hand and a kimbo. Moving on to the CX-9. According to the in-game description, it has excellent maneuverability and a fast fire rate, which makes this blowback operated submachine gun a formidable weapon in close quarters engagements. The description nails it as the weapon has an insanely high rate of fire, almost similar to the Fennec, similar mobility, but its base magazine size is only 20 rounds, similar to the ISO. The weapon is built for close quarters engagements, but the attachments definitely have potential to improve this weapon. In terms of the optics, it just has your average sights, there's nothing unique here. Same goes for the muzzles, average muzzles, nothing unique here. It has a shitload of barrels though, the CX-38E, the CX-23S, which has a built-in monolithic suppressor, the CX-23, which has an angled grip built-in, the CX-38 and the CX-38S barrels. The 38 variants are all long range and the 23 barrels are more for close range and speed. The underbarrels are fairly average, which are Commando foregrip, Merc foregrip, etc. For the ammunition, it has 30 round max, 9mm hollow point, 12 round max, which has a 3 round burst rather than a 2 round, and 50 round max. In the rear grip department, it has the CX9 clutch grip, CX9 ace grip, and the CX9 tech grip. These are just differently named variants of the usual rear grips. For the stock, it has the CXMM, CXFA, and the CXFR which are recoil control stability and speed stocks. The lasers remain the same, 1 milliwatt, 5 milliwatt and tag laser. Trigger action is once unknown. And for the perks it's fairly average as well. The best option here is once again sleight of hand. Knowing the attachments and their pros and cons, there are clear recommendations on how to kit the weapons. The Psykov has unique attachments that none of the other pistols have. Using these attachments, I'm creating a pocket submachine gun. Fully automatic, high magazine capacity and fast handling. However, it is recommended for close quarters only. For the barrel you want to equip the Sorokin 140mm Auto, which allows your Psykov to fire fully automatic at the cost of aim down sight and movement speed. And on top of this the 80 round drums, which adds 80 rounds to your magazine at the cost of aim down sight and movement speed. But now we're gonna counter that sluggishness. For the rear grip we want to choose the VLK Prisrock which increases your aim down sight and sprint to fire speed, the 5 milliwatt laser to improve your hip fire and increase the sprint to fire speed and finally sleight of hand to increase the reload speed. And that equips you with a pocket submachine gun, eliminating the need for overkill, for example for a sniper class. Moving on to the CX-9, I will recommend two setups for the CX-9, a close quarters combat and hip fire setup as well as a marksman setup. Looking at the close quarter battle setup, we're choosing for the barrel department the CX-23S, which adds a monolithic integral suppressor, which increases your aim down side speed and eliminates the need for a barrel attachment. For the under barrel, we choose the Merc foregrip, which decreases the recoil, improves your hip fire and increases your movement speed. The magazine should be the 50 round max because it fires so fast, which adds 5 rounds at the cost of aim down side speed and movement speed, but we'll compensate this again. For the rear grip we choose the tech grip, increases your aim down side speed and your sprint to fire speed. And lastly, the 5mW laser to improve your hip fire and increase the sprint to fire speed. This setup allows for maximum speed and hip fire capability, enabling you to get kills up to medium range with the hip fire only. You definitely don't want to aim down sides with this setup, because the iron sights in combination with the recoil and muzzle flash will straight up blind you. However, you can switch out certain attachments for recoil control and stability. The second setup is oriented towards a close to medium range snappy marksman playstyle. First you want the GI mini reflex for a clear optic. For the barrel we choose the CX-38S, which increases the damage range, bullet velocity and it comes with an integral suppressor. But you don't have to do this, you can also go for the CX-38E. For the underbarrel we choose the Commando 4 grip for decreased recoil. For the ammunition we choose the 9mm hollow point 12 round max. It increases the damage, increases your aim down sight speed and movement speed at the cost of magazine capacity and bullet velocity. But we're not gonna use this at long range. And finally, for the perk we have Slide of Hand, which decreases the weapon downtime since you have to reload quite often as it's only a 12 round map. Thank you guys very much for watching. The creation of these videos is very time consuming from writing the script to designing the motion graphics. If you like these types of videos and want to support me in continuing creating, there are several things you can do. 
liking or disliking depending on what you thought of the video other than views this shows me how much you like the content i put out subscribing reinforces your support and shows me you want more videos leaving interactive comments or feedback reminds me how i'm not just doing it for myself and shows how i can improve another way to support me is to join the channel and become a member for one five or ten dollars other than badges and emojis, members will have early access to uploads of the large projects such as short films and large lore videos and it will shout you out at the end of each video. With that in mind, I want to say thanks to Monty Lambert for being the first tier 2 member and to Hidden Fox Style, Khalil Cheeks, Nervous Wreck, Sparky22, Karsten Block, Stel Martinez and Jack Bonnie for being tier 1 members of the channel. Your support means a lot. And the last way, as I mentioned at the start of the video, you can support me by using the affiliate links and creator codes mentioned in the description. I'm invested in creating this brand and making it work, so the more support I gain, the more time and energy I can invest in YouTube to turn it into a full-time job. In turn, this will result in more frequent uploads, higher quality content and an amazing community. But, however you choose to support me, I will be creating and uploading content, because it's simply what I like to do. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.